New tonight, Medford is expanding the urban growth boundary. County leaders approved the expansion today. The city says it will give them and all its citizens new opportunities. NBC 5's Nikki Torres looked into the issue today. She's live in East Medford with more. Nikki? Craig Kristen, the expansion will mean more housing opportunities for areas like this one on Wanapero Way, making it possible for a population increase for up to 35,000 people. Yes. 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 Three votes to make one unanimous decision that's been nearly 20 years in the making. Today was a very exciting milestone in Medford's uh, attempt to expand its urban growth boundary. A project that's taken effort from all aspects of the city. It's taken a number of years. We had our local process with planning commission meetings and city council meetings, and we recently had Jackson County Planning Commission meetings and now the Board of Commissioners. Planning Director for the City of Medford, Matt Brinkley, says it's an effort that started back in 1998 at the beginning of regional problem solving. Anybody who has been looking for a home or looking for a place to rent knows that there isn't a lot of inventory available. A problem the city of Medford's been struggling with for years. Part of that is our dwindling supply of developable residential uh, and, and commercial land. Wednesday's approval of the urban growth boundary from Jackson County could change that. The proposal that was approved today and that was approved by city council last August uh, calls for 1,669 acres of urbanizable land. Brinkley says 1,039 acres of that land is going to be used for residential expansion and can accommodate 35,000 people. It's a significant amount of population growth over you know, the next 20 years. The remaining 630 acres will be used to expand business in Medford. And though it'll still be a process executing the project, he says it'll be worth it for the city. It's the culmination of a lot of work and a lot of public involvement. And we think that um, on balance, all things considered, this is a very strong urban growth boundary amendment that will benefit the community as a whole. Before the move can become official, several steps still need to be taken locally. Then it has to be approved by the Oregon Land Conservation and Development Commission. Live in East Medford tonight, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News. Nikki.